Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video on the most common GM 2.2 Ecotech engine problems. The Ecotech 2.2 liter inline four engine was initially introduced in 2000 and spanned a number of different variants and updates until its eventual demise in 2011. The 2.2 liter Ecotech engine offers anywhere from 135 to 160 horsepower and 135 to 162 foot pounds of torque. It's certainly not an engine for performance enthusiasts. However, the 2.2 liter Ecotech does deliver a great overall balance of reliability, longevity, fuel economy, and affordability. So all great things in an engine. However, no engine is bulletproof and completely flawless. And that certainly applies here. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss some of the most common issues with the 2.2 Ecotech. Number one on the list, we have timing chain and tensioner failure. The timing chain tensioner was a known weakness on the 2.2 liter Ecotech, specifically on models manufactured from 2000 until 2004. The root cause of the timing chain tensioner issues was problems with oil flow and lubrication while the engine was idling. Ultimately, this led to the timing chain tensioner receiving less oil than they should have, which would ultimately increase heat, increase friction, and result in the timing chain tensioners failing. Fortunately, GM did resolve the oiling issues in 2005, so all these updates were made to the engine to help prevent these problems and seem to be a good solution for preventing the risks and likelihood of running into timing chain or timing chain tensioner failure on the newer 2005 plus engines. So really, this is something mostly to look out for if you're in the market or considering a 2000 to 2004 model. Some symptoms of timing chain and timing chain tensioner issues include rough idle, misfires, the engine not starting, poor overall performance, and potentially metal shavings in the oil. So a couple symptoms to be on the lookout for if you have any of that and have an earlier model 2.2 Ecotech, then the timing chain and timing chain tensioners are certainly a great starting point for tracking down those potential issues. Moving on to our second most common problem, we have leaking intake manifold gaskets. Most vehicles tend to use one gasket for the entire intake manifold. However, GM on the 2.2 Ecotech opted to use four individual gaskets, one for each intake port or intake runner where it meets with the cylinder head. And so ultimately you have four intake manifold gaskets in there. And this is an issue where these gaskets are simply known to wear down and begin degrading with age and mileage. And that ultimately results in air leaking out of the intake manifold from those gaskets once they begin cracking and degrading. So when you have a leak coming from one of the intake manifold gaskets, it can really throw off the pressure in the intake manifold and that can lead to a host of symptoms and potential drivability issues, including misfires, rough idle, power loss, poor performance. So if you're noticing those symptoms, the intake manifold gaskets are a good starting point, but ultimately the intake manifold gasket problems are a pretty minor issue in the grand scheme on the 2.2 Ecotech. Simply pull the intake manifold off, throw a new gasket in there. Fortunately, the parts are incredibly cheap. It's just a simple rubber gasket. So if you're able to DIY the job, you can get this done for a very inexpensive repair bill. And even if you end up at a repair shop, it's not too bad. Moving on to our third and final problem for the GM 2.2 Ecotech engine, we have oil leaks. This is more a testament to the 2.2 Ecotech. There really aren't any other common problems or anything that's significantly more common than any other potential problem on the engine. So talking about oil leaks, there isn't really any design flaw or any issue with the engine that leads to oil leaks. However, over time, gaskets see seals, O-rings, any rubber or rubber-like components simply degrade with age. They begin hardening and cracking, and that's ultimately what results in these oil or coolant leaks. So again, not really a design flaw or any issue with the 2.2 Ecotech engine here. But again, we are talking about an engine that was manufactured between 2000 and 2011. So at this point, we are talking about a roughly 15 to 25 year old engine, and engines of that age are just going to naturally have some problems with those components that degrade. So a couple of the main ones to look out for are leaks from areas like the front or rear main seals, the valve cover gasket, and the oil pan gasket, all some of the more common spots to see oil leaks from. And again, this is nothing to hold against the engine and something that can really be said about just about any engine 
that is 15 to 25 years old. So really that wraps up the most common problems with the 2.2 liter inline four Ecotec engine. So in summary of these common problems and talking about overall reliability of this engine, the 2.2 Ecotec is a very reliable engine outside of those earlier models from 2000 to 2004 that had the oiling issues to the timing chain tensioners. That was something that could be a little serious. Timing chain failure can be expensive and a very severe and serious failure with the engine outside of those there aren't really any other significant common problems to discuss. I talked about the intake manifold gaskets, which is one of the more known and more common issues on the 2.2 Ecotec. Lastly, talked about oil leaks and really just the fact that a lot of components like gaskets, tying that in again to the intake manifold gasket issues. Over time, a lot of gasket seals, O-rings simply tend to wear down and degrade and start causing leaks from various areas in the engine, whether that be air leaks, like in the case of the intake manifold gasket, or oil leaks from the valve cover gasket front or rear main seals or oil pan gaskets. Nothing to hold against the 2.2 Ecotec. It's just part of owning a 15 to 25 year old engine in which those components are going to wear down, become brittle and start cracking and leading to some issues. With proper maintenance and good care of these engines, they can easily last 200,000 to 250 plus thousand miles with very few issues along the way. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.